cod is a highly valuable fish, especially in cold seas such as the North Atlantic. To catch cod, fishermen often use fishing methods such as nets or specialized fishing poles. The most common method is to use a purse sen, a long net that is lowered into the sea and towed behind a boat. The net will enclose the school of cod, effectively capturing them. In addition, in some cases, fishermen also use bottom nets to catch cod living in areas near the seabed. Another method is to use bait, especially in deep sea cod fishing. The bait is usually small fish or crustaceans, which help attract the cod closer. These activities are all strictly managed to protect cod resources, avoiding overexploitation leading to the risk of depletion of this fish species. To ensure the sustainability of cod fishing, strict regulations on fishing times and areas have been applied. For example, during the spawning season, fishermen must comply with cod fishing bans to protect fish populations and maintain future supplies. One important measure is to limit the number of cod caught each year to avoid overfishing. In addition, fishing vessels must use advanced equipment to minimize negative impacts on the marine environment, such as using nets with appropriate mesh sizes to avoid catching juvenile fish. In addition, cod fishing requires international coordination, because cod migrate across different seas. Countries whose waters cod inhabit often cooperate to control fishing ensuring that there is no overfishing in a particular area. The development of fishing vessel tracking technologies and reporting systems has also improved the efficiency of monitoring cod fishing activities, thereby protecting the development of this fish for future generations. In addition to management and control measures, scientific research also plays an important role in cod conservation. Studies on the biology, migration habits, and reproduction of cod help scientists better understand this fish thereby developing appropriate fishing strategies. Research projects also help fishermen realize the importance of protecting fishery resources and encourage them to participate in sustainable fishing activities. In addition, environmental protection organizations and international organizations also play an important role in raising public awareness of the need to protect cod. Campaigns to educate consumers that cod is legally caught and from sustainable sources will contribute to the stability of the marine ecosystem. The future of the cod fishing industry depends on fishermen scientists and international organizations working together to maintain a sustainable fishery that protects not only cod but also the entire marine ecosystem. A current trend is the application of modern technology in the cod fishing industry. Technologies such as GPS monitoring devices, sensors to track fish movements, and automatic warning systems help fishermen to know the location of cod schools accurately and efficiently. This not only improves fishing productivity but also reduces overfishing and protects sensitive areas. such as cod spawning grounds. In addition, cod farming models are also being researched and developed as an alternative to wild fishing. Cod farming not only reduces pressure on wild fish populations but also opens up new opportunities for the aquaculture industry. However, cod farming requires suitable rearing conditions and advanced farming techniques, while ensuring the health and quality of the product. 
The international community is also calling for closer cooperation between governments and marine conservation organizations in promoting cod protection policies. International agreements, such as the North Atlantic Cod Management Agreement, are good examples of global cooperation in maintaining and protecting important fish species such as cod. This linkage helps to increase efficiency in fishing control, sharing research information and implementing joint conservation measures. In short, cod fishing is not only an economic activity but also a major challenge for the marine environment and ecology. To sustain the industry, a close coordination between science, technology, policy and environmental awareness is needed. These efforts will ensure that cod, a valuable fish species, will survive and thrive for a long time, benefiting both fishermen and the global marine ecosystem in addition to management. Research and technology, an essential element in maintaining sustainability in the cod fishing industry is the development of responsible cod consumption patterns. Consumers play an important role in promoting the use of sustainably caught cod, choosing to buy cod from certified sustainable sources such as the Marine Stewardship Council MSC, will encourage fishermen and seafood processing companies to take measures to protect marine resources and support sound fisheries management policies. In addition, governments and NGOs are implementing many strategies to educate and raise public awareness about the importance of protecting fisheries resources. These campaigns help people understand the impacts of overfishing and encourage them to choose seafood that is responsibly sourced and from responsibly managed fisheries. One of the major challenges facing the cod fishery today is climate change. Changing sea temperatures can affect cod migration, spawning and distribution. Research on the impacts of climate change on cod populations is becoming increasingly important. Helping managers to adjust their fishing strategies accordingly. This could include adjusting fishing areas and seasons as well as developing programs to protect nursery and spawning areas. Overall, the sustainability of the cod fishery depends not only on current management measures, but also on the ability to respond flexibly to changes in the environment and markets. This requires multi-sectoral coordination and the active participation of all stakeholders. From fishermen, scientists, environmental organizations, to politicians and consumers, by all working together towards a common goal, we can ensure that cod will continue to be a valuable resource for future generations. Another important factor in maintaining the sustainability of the cod fishing industry is the development of alternative methods in the aquaculture industry. For example, research and initiatives on controlled environment cod farming are being implemented to reduce the dependence on wild capture fisheries. Cod farming models in floating ponds or aquaculture areas can help reduce the impact of overfishing and protect wild fish populations. However, this requires significant investment in research, technology and infrastructure, as well as environmentally friendly farming methods. In addition, developing alternative sources of aquaculture to cod such as species that can be farmed quickly and easily in sustainable systems, can also help reduce pressure on wild cod populations. This not only ensures food security for consumers but also helps maintain the balance in marine ecosystems. 
These efforts also require close coordination between seafood processing industries and environmental managers. Cod processing companies can apply advanced technologies to minimize waste from processing. such as recycling fish remains into animal feed or other value-added products. This helps to maximize the use of resources without causing waste. In particular, the involvement of local communities in cod fishing activities is also important. Fishers in key cod producing waters need to be equipped with knowledge and skills on sustainable fishing methods to help protect marine resources. Policies that support fishermen to switch to less impactful fishing methods such as using small nets to catch adult fish instead of juveniles, are also effective. Finally, in the context of globalization and increasing demand for cod, international cooperation initiatives remain key to sustainability. Countries and international organizations need to continue to improve and enforce fisheries protection agreements and work together to monitor and regulate fishing activities to protect not only cod but also other marine species. Developing management tools and data sharing systems between countries will help provide the information needed to promptly adjust fishing policies. In short, for the cod fishery to develop sustainably in the future, comprehensive cooperation between stakeholders, from fishermen, scientists, to international organizations and the consumer community, is extremely important only by working together to protect marine resources and conserve cod can we ensure that this precious fish continues to survive, thrive and provide benefits for future generations. Cod is typically caught in cold seas such as the North Atlantic, and fishermen use a variety of methods to catch it. The most common method is purse seining, in which fishermen drop a large net into the sea and pull it back to capture the fish. There is also bottom trawling, which is used specifically to catch cod in areas with deep seabeds. Another method is cod fishing, in which fishermen use bait, usually small fish or crustaceans, to attract cod to the fishing rod. These activities are often carried out in deep, cold seas where cod live and thrive. However, to ensure sustainability, cod fishing must comply with strict regulations on seasons and fishing areas. Avoiding overfishing, in addition to traditional fishing methods such as purse sends, bottom nets and bait fishing, technology has also been applied to improve efficiency and minimize negative impacts on the environment. Cod fishing vessels today are often equipped with GPS systems and sensors to accurately track the location of fish schools and adjust fishing methods accordingly. This helps to minimize the capture of juvenile fish and protect the breeding areas of this species. In addition, fishing methods must also comply with regulations on limiting the number of fish that can be caught in a given season. This is to ensure that the cod population is not depleted, while helping to maintain the ecological balance in the marine environment. Countries are also strengthening international cooperation to manage and control cod fishing, especially in areas where stocks migrate between countries.
to avoid overfishing in a single area. To protect this resource, fishermen and fisheries organizations need to continue to apply sustainable fishing measures, such as using nets with appropriate mesh sizes to capture only adults and minimize the capture of juveniles. Maintaining these measures will not only help protect cod, but also help the fisheries industry develop sustainably and stably. An important factor in protecting cod is strict monitoring and control of fishing activities. Authorities regularly inspect fishing vessels to ensure that fishermen comply with regulations on net size, seasons and catch limits. The use of surveillance technology such as satellite-based vessel tracking systems BMS, helps to monitor and control fishing vessels, ensuring they do not enter protected areas or exceed fishing limits. In addition, marine reserves, where cod spawn or congregate, are established to prevent fishing during critical periods, allowing cod to spawn and grow. This not only protects cod, but also maintains the balance of marine ecosystems, as cod plays an important role in the food chain for many other seafood species. Furthermore, the development of strategies to farm cod in controlled environments is being studied as an alternative to wild fishing. Cod farming will help reduce pressure on wild fish populations and provide a stable supply for the seafood processing industry. However, this requires investment in advanced technology and farming systems to ensure product quality and sustainability of the farming industry. In short, cod fishing is not only an economic activity but also involves the protection of natural resources and the maintenance of the sustainability of the marine environment. To achieve this goal, there needs to be close coordination between fishermen, managers, scientists and international organizations in applying rational fishing methods and protecting fishery resources in the long term to ensure the sustainability of cod fishing. Not only fishermen and related organizations but also consumers need to be aware in choosing products. Sustainability certification such as MSC, Marine Stewardship Council, or ASC, Aquaculture Stewardship Council, help consumers recognize and choose cod products that are caught and farmed in an environmentally friendly way. The preference for these certified products will encourage seafood processing companies and fishermen to apply sustainable fishing methods and minimize negative impacts on the ecosystem. In addition, public education strategies also play an important role in raising awareness about protecting aquatic species. Including cod, education campaigns can help consumers understand that choosing sustainably caught cod is not only beneficial to them, but also helps protect natural resources for future generations. Another important factor is international cooperation in managing and protecting cod stocks. Because cod moves through the waters of 